Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Weavile, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Seismitoad. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation on what this series is about. Now, every week I'll be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution for. <clears throat> now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your opinions in the comment section down below. But what would you keep? What would you change? And etc. And at the end of every video, I will be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Seismitoad. Now, just like Weavile, I kept coming back to Seismitoad, but not as much as Weavile. I mean, I kind of came back, tried to come back to Seismitoad, I would say roughly around seven to eight times. Now, for starters, the, one of the reasons was that I really couldn't find a Mega Picture for Seismitoad, considering that when like Mega Evolutions were first introduced, because this is when I, when I tried to actually do Seismitoad, there really wasn't any like Mega Pictures, and pretty much there was really no Mega Pictures for like fifth gen Pokemon, and I kind of had to wait for like a Mega Picture or a fan art for a Mega Picture for Seismitoad, and I finally found one, which the one you guys are looking at, but for some reason. I know it's a little bit small and this is pretty much like one of the only ones I could find um, When I try to blow it up it like covers like the whole like screen So I do apologize for that picture being a little bit small because I don't really see Seismitoad looking like that for its mega evolution It's just that it's one of the only like pictures I could find for a mega Seismitoad So I do apologize about the picture if you agree with it then you do if you don't then I'm sorry But nonetheless uh, Seismitoad I think is is a very very like good candidate Pokemon from 5th gen to receive a mega evolution I mean its stats are not, like not all that great Well I wouldn't say all that great because I know a lot of people like to use Seismitoad but in my opinion, it could be better. So what I've done to its stats is that I increased everything but decreased its speed by 20. So I have an extra 20 points to distribute. Considering that obviously when it comes to like Seismitoad, one of its abilities is Swift Swim. But I'm actually not making like a Swift Swim Pokemon. I'm actually making a very, very bulky Pokemon that is very offensive and that's what I've done so I did decrease its speed by 20 to from base 74 to base 54 that way I have an extra 20 points to distribute into its other stats now when it comes to its stats they're pretty much simplistic because they're pretty much roughly around the same but anyways uh, let's just get right into it so for its physical attack I increased it from base 95 to base 115 now with base 115 uh, for its physical attack is very very sky high for this because it maxes out at least I believe at like base uh, 361 with like EV spread it in like with the preferred like physical attacking nature same thing for a special attack because I did increase it from base 85 to base 115 as well now when it comes to seismitoad it can pretty much go either either way for being a physical attacker and also a special attacker because I've seen some people run like drain punch waterfall and a couple other moves that are physical for uh, Seismitoad, and I've also seen like special uh, special variants of Seismitoad, which I'm personally more of a fan of than the physical type because obviously the physical type towards uh, Seismitoad, he really doesn't have, he really doesn't have that like a good variety of moves I would say. But anyways, I'm more of a fan of the, like the special variant of Seismitoad because it gets access to Grass Knot if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what other skull hyper voice earth power just a lot of good special type attacks that i really really like to use in competitive play and i also think that with base 115 special attack it's going to be doing a lot of work and also um, with base 115 into its uh, physical attack as well and also for a special attack you can also run like a mix like variant of it so you can run like i don't know like a brave nature or a quiet nature or if you want to run like a defensive nature you can run like a relaxed nature or a sassy nature either one that pretty much decreases its speed because obviously like I said I'm not making Mega Seismitoad to become like a very very fast Pokemon I'm making it to like pretty much eat up hits and pretty much deal damage and with and with uh, Seismitoad getting access to Drain Punch you can't recover your HP because I'm not sure but I don't think Seismitoad gets access to like recover or slack off or any other like recovery type moves besides Drain Punch so you can run like a fully physical and then just have some special moves on the sidelines as well kind of like how Mega Salamence is run. It can go either way, but most of the time, a lot of people like to run like the physical variant, and also sometimes a lot of people like to run the special variant, but they also like to run like the, um, the mixed variant as well. And so that's what I like to, uh, wanted to make 
uh, Mega Size Metoad 4. Now, for its physical defense, I increased it from base 75 to base 105. Now, uh, as you can tell from his special defense as well, I increased it from base 75 to base 110. Now the reason why I didn't increase it the same um, for its physical defense and special defense was because of its typing as being water ground. The only weakness it's pretty much weak to is grass. Now when it comes to grass, most of the time people use like special moves like Giga Drain, Leaf Storm, and so on and so forth. You don't really see any uh, like physical type grass type moves except for like Leaf Blade, but you only use that like on a Sceptile or a sketched smear goal if you want to go with that route. But other than that, uh, it really is only weak to one like typing, which is grass, and most of the time they're special. So I wanted to give uh, some Seismic Toad's special defense a little bit more of a buff than its physical defense because obviously this thing's HP is like through the roof if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check right now. It's at base 105 for its HP so this thing will be able to eat up hits because I'm on therapy right now because I actually came prepared. But like I said, this thing is just going to be eating a physical type attacks if you want to go with like a bold nature or like an impish nature or if you want to go with like a relaxed nature, either or. You can go with like max HP, max physical defense, and either or any either physical and or special attack for coverage. So that's what you can actually do. And But like I said, for its special defense, I wanted to give it a more buff because most of the time when it comes to like grass type moves, it actually is special rather than physical. So... Uh, a little bit more of a buff into its special defense will do it some good. Now, as a regular seismic toad, its base stats at 509 with the Mega Evolution is going to be at 609. Now, for its ability, I know a lot of people are probably going to agree with this, but I gave it a new ability called Tectonic 8. It's kind of a tongue twister to say, but pretty much it's like Pixelate, but it turns normal type moves into ground type moves. Now, I actually thought of this because uh, I at first I was going to be giving it like Sap Sipper. I was going to be that guy and give the water ground Pokemon Sap Sipper, so then that way there's going to be no typing that it's going to be super effective against. I know, I get it. I was going to be that guy, but I decided to actually give it a new ability called Tectonicate, like I said, which turns normal type moves into ground type moves because I was looking through Seismic Toad's moveset and it actually gets access to Hyper Voice and like Hyper Beam and like a lot of good, like normal type moves like Return and Giga Impact as well. So if you want to run like Hyper Voice, Giga Impact, or like Return, or along the lines of like those really, really good normal type moves, you can. But and because, like, if I'm not mistaken, like the only like offensive, like ground type move that a lot of people use on Seismitoad is either Earth Power if you're going a special variant Seismitoad, or Earthquake if you're going to be going a physical, uh, like route for uh, Seismitoad. So, I wanted to give it more of like ground type move coverage, considering that it gets access to pretty much like the best of the best water type moves, like Surf, Skull, and if I'm not mistaken, Hydro Pump as well. But uh, I'm not really looking at its stats. I was just looking at, or, or I, I wasn't really looking at Seismic Tote on Serbia. I was just looking at its stats just to make sure of something, and also for like what kind of like normal type moves it gets. But mainly for the reason why I've given this ability was because it gets access to Hyper Voice. Because I kind of actually uh, like saw. Uh, I realized that when it comes to like Mega Evolutions and you get like an ability called like, like kind of like like Refrigerate and Pixelate, most of the Pokemon that get those type of abilities have access to Hyper Voice. I'm not sure if like Glalie gets access to Hyper Voice, but I'm saying most of them. So that's why I've given it a new ability called uh, like Tectonic Gate, which turns normal time moves into ground time moves. So that was pretty much like the like the like what I was actually going for. So it gets more like ground type stab moves. Now for its typing, I left it alone as Water Ground. I would say it's easily like the best typing in the game because it's only weak to one typing, and that's Grass. And I realized that if I would have given this thing Sap Sipper, a lot of people were probably gonna be oh that should have been Mega Swampert ability you know I don't like it on Seismitoid or uh, Quacksire but regardless um, I didn't give it Sap Zipper because I know a lot of people are probably going to start complaining but I actually think that Tectonic is actually a good ability for Seismitoid so with that there is Seismitoid so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to comment and subscribe now the next Pokemon is a 6th gen Pokemon that is probably I wouldn't say one of my favorites but it's a really like fun Pokemon to use and I really like the Pokemon and that Pokemon is Trevenant so uh, later down the line I would say, what next Tuesday we are going to be talking about Mega Trevenant. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. So this is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.